Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tarot Celebrity with your boy Ducky. Today we are going to be reading some cards on Taehyung and Jenny's connection. Taehyung or V from BTS and Blackpink's Jenny. Um, so I believe this is an updated ca card reading on them. I'm not too sure because... You know, your boy Ducky, I don't really, I just, I'm a Ducky for the people, by the people, you know, I do, I do videos that y'all request, and so, I can't really say for sure if I, if I remember doing one, I think I've done one on them before, so I think this is an update, but anyway, enough of me rambling, remember that these videos are for entertainment purposes, and why is that? You may ask, that is because we do not have Taehyung nor Jenny here to confirm nor deny that what I'm seeing in the cards and how I'm interpreting the cards is resonating with them or is not resonating with them. So just remember to take these videos with a grain of salt. Um, and without further ado, let's get started on their reading. So let's start on their combined energy. What is Taehyung and Jenny's combined current energy? We got the fool new beginnings, baby. Okay, let's keep going. We got the queen of wands in reverse. Hmm, maybe a little bit of jealousy. Hmm. We got the ten of pentacles. Interesting. I am getting the sense with this Queen of Wands energy here in reverse. I feel like maybe outside sources might be the ones that might be a little bit jealous. Um, let me just get an Oracle card representing their combined energy. We got clear quartz. Let yourself feel all your emotions. Wow! <laughs> Spicy! Okay. So... Their combined energy with clear quartz here. Let yourself feel all your emotions. I feel like there's this like rebirth between their connection. Clear quartz is all about, you know, clearing negativity, um, allowing new space for new feelings to come in, cleaning the space, cleaning the energy, freshening it up. And it makes sense with this fool here that showed up first you know oddly enough the fool the first card in major arcana first card out of the whole tarot deck first card of this reading all about new beginnings new adventures i feel like this is a again a rebirth for their connection they're allowing themselves to feel all of their feelings with this connection i don't know you connect the pieces um I would say who whoever is watching the, the this video and whoever requested this video, you would know a lot more than I would. Um, I'm just going based off of the cards, but I feel like this is a good fresh start for the two of them, um, and they're allowing themselves to just be open and honest with their emotions with one another, which is beautiful. And with this Ten of Pentacles showing up, you know, this is the true abundance card. There is a lot of wealth here. And I'm not just talking about like monetary, monetary wealth. I'm like, I'm talking about just like in the physical sense, like they just feel good. They're, they're in a good sense right now where they just feel, or they're in a good place right now where they just feel good with one another. Um, Lots of new opportunities, new beginnings, new adventures. They're being open and honest about their feelings um, and their emotions. Now, with this Queen of Wands energy in reverse, it's giving me two different things. First one can be that maybe Jenny might, there might be a little bit of possessive energy that Jenny has. Um regarding Taehyung it could be that maybe she gets a little bit jealous but I don't really know if that might be the case just because of how these two cards showed up right side up I feel like they're in a great place I think this could be an outside perspective I think this is a uh, from an outside 
perspective, some people maybe are not too happy with these two maybe getting along well together or starting to go out and venture on out and do and go on adventures together and experience new things with one another. I feel like this Queen of Wands energy in reverse can talk about there's a little bit of a maybe jealousy. Uh, let me just double check here. Yeah, possessive woman who hates independence in others, bad tempered and di dictatorial, dictatorial, jealous and vengeful woman. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't really I don't really know if that's if it's coming across that like this could be Jenny's energy, but it could be like a a a, a woman on an outside, you know, seeing Tae Young and Jenny together and she may not be happy. So it could be I'm very much getting the sense that maybe Jenny and Tae Young are doing so well together and they're allowing each other to be freely open with their emotions with one another. And maybe some women or a woman on the outside is not too happy with this. Whoa. Oh, whoa. But you know what? That's their problem, right? That's their issue. Um, they don't like independence. They don't like other people to be happy. And maybe they're not in they're not enjoying that seeing Taehyung and Jenny happy. Um, hmm? I don't know. That's just kind of the vibe I'm getting. All right. So let's go with Taehyung. When Taehyung thinks of Jenny, what comes to his mind? What does he think? What does he feel? Page of Cups, new emotional emotions, fresh, lively, fun emotions. Okay. With the Three of Wands, opportunities. All right. Now let's switch. Jenny, when Je Jenny thinks of Taehyung, what comes to her mind? What does she think? What does she feel? We got the King of Cups in reverse. Ooh. With the Five of Cups in reverse. Hmm. I'm going to venture and say that Jenny is treading a little bit more lightly. She's being a little bit more careful with Taehyung. Then vice versa. Taehyung might be a little bit more lively and and passionate in wanting to maybe continue getting to know Jenny or spend time with her. But let's start with Jenny's perspective of Taehyung. We got the King of Cups in reverse. King of Cups is the emotional king. But when it comes in reverse, all of those emotions, this king doesn't really know how to decipher his own emotions from other people's emotions. And because of that, instead, he tries to manipulate other people's emotions. That way he knows where he stands with everyone else. And he knows, okay, these are my emotions and those are theirs. But like, there's a manipulative factor here. And I feel like Jenny is being a little bit careful when she thinks of Taehyung. She thinks of someone who maybe sometimes emotionally might be a, man a little bit manipulative towards others. And maybe she thinks that maybe she does this or he Jenny thinks that Taehyung does this because maybe he's not emotionally a emotionally as secure in, in himself as he leads on to be. And therefore, he needs to try and like emotionally manipulate others, maybe like try and like bring other people down. That way he can kind of help himself feel good. That's kind of what the King of Cups in reverse energy is to me. Um, but... All is not lost. You know, Jenny also, when she thinks of Taehyung, we got the Five of Cups in reverse. Normally, the Five of Cups is all about like, boohoo, I'm so sad. Like, all I'm seeing is negativity, like focusing on the negative. But when it comes in reverse, this is actually, actually the opposite effect. There's a lot more good things than bad things. So when Jenny thinks of Taehyung... She chooses to focus on the good. She cho She's choosing to focus on the good qualities. Maybe there is a little bit of an emotional manipulative factor that Taehyung has had in the past. Maybe he's had a history of being a little bit emotionally manip manipulative. But like 
there's some goodness here. Like, I feel like Jenny is choosing to see that, like, Taehyung is trying to stay steer away from these emotional emotionally manipulative tendencies that maybe he has grown accustomed to having or to doing. Um, and she's starting to see a lot of growth. I'm just seeing a lot of growth here. And it makes sense with this fool card that showed up first. Like there's new beginnings, new adventures, um, new opportunities. Speaking of opportunities, we got the three of wands here, which is the card all about opportunities. Now, Taehyung, when he thinks of Jenny, he thinks of like, there's just, there's a lot of opportunities here. When he thinks of Jenny, he, I'm just seeing a lot of like light bulbs go off, you know, lots of ideas, bing, 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 you know, lots of opportunities like, oh, maybe I could take Jenny out over here. Maybe we could do this. Maybe we could do this. We would do this. Like, there's just a lot of opportunities um, that he sees when he thinks uh, of Jenny now, also with the Page of Cups here showing up, when Taehyung thinks of Jenny, he thinks of just like fun, lighthearted flirtation. She, uh, he thinks that Jenny's just very lighthearted and flirty. There's this very young, youthful energy uh, to Jenny that Taehyung sees and he just sees a lot of opportunities here. Wow. I don't know. All right. So let's just get a card for like those of you that want to see like what's the is there compatibility here? Is there potential here for there to be like romantic connection here? Let's see. We got the Queen of Cups. Yes, I think there is, you know, I don't want this channel to just be like, like hearsay, he said, she said, gossipy type of stuff, even though the name is Tarot Celebrity. But, you know, I also want to try to find line a fine balance of respecting other people's um, privacy and other people's lives. Um, so I try to not to get too much into these types of topics of like are they in a relationship is there potential i don't know but i do like to draw like one card for those of you that are curious and with this queen of cups showing up here with the king of cups here that showed up in reverse already i think there is potential here um to me i feel like the queen of cups aka maybe jenny like is just waiting for some, for this King of Cups energy that's in reverse to, to be more emotionally secure and not have to feel like he has to emotionally manipulate other people in order for him to feel more secure in himself. I think that's kind of what I'm seeing is just like what needs to happen. Um, you know, like look at this card, this Queen of Cups, like she's just looking off into the distance and to me this is like a card of waiting right just waiting sipping on your coffee taking your drinks chilling with the bird um just staying grounded staying firmly in your energy in your position while you're like looking out and paying attention to like other people's emotions and motives and whatnot. So, but I do see that there is, there's, there's a good, good opportunities. Again, three of wands, there's good opportunities for there to be connection here. Um, but that's all I'm going to go with that. Um, so let's just finish off this video with some advice, some good old ducky advice for Taehyung and Jenny. We got the Eight of Swords in reverse. Free yourself. Free your mind. Anyone know that En Vogue song? Anyone? King of Swords. Lots of court cards. Lots of royalty. Hmm. Emeralds, ceremonies and celebrations and emerald is green indicative of the heart chakra just I feel like the advice for your Taehyung and Jenny is for them to continue 
celebrating, you know, there's lots of opportunities that Taehyung sees when he thinks of Jenny. He sees there's a lot of opportunities for them to go out and celebrate, maybe for them to go attend ceremonies together, maybe like weddings or like other types of parties for them to be each other's plus one. Whoa! I don't know. That's just kind of the advice I'm seeing for them to is to continue celebrating their connection, um, attending ceremonies together if they if they'd like, you know, um, and to just free themselves. The Eight of Swords normally talks about restriction. But as an advice card, this coming in reverse, they just need to kind of free themselves, free their, uh, themselves of their thoughts and just free, freely communicate. Again, I already feel like they're already doing this with this fool that already showed up as the first card. There's a lot of new opportunities and new, uh, adventures for them and they are, allowing themselves to feel all their emotions so that's just what i'm seeing continue freeing yourself yourselves from feeling all these emotions and you know celebrate each other continue communicating with this king of swords the king of swords is such a master at communicating at verbalizing and vocalizing his thoughts um, so that's all I'm really seeing for these two. Like, I see some good potential here. Ooh, ooh, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I like. I don't. I don't know anything really about them besides that. Like, one's in BTS, the other one's in was in Blackpink. Um, that's all I really know. I'm just going based off of the cards, but based off of the way that the cards showed up, there's a lot of good potential here for this connection, for this friendship, for them to be freely and open and honest with one another, continue celebrating each other, continue verbalizing each other's thoughts. No need to manipulate other people's emotions in order to feel emotionally secure in oneself. That That's kind of changing a little bit. You know, those em emotional, emotionally manipulative tendencies are starting to change with this king of cups energy in reverse so good things are are going on in this connection so that's it for this video let me know what you thought um let me know if it's resonating with anything that you you have seen you have heard from these two uh thank you so much for waiting patiently for me to get around to making this video if you are waiting patiently or you have been waiting for some time feel free to just drop it in let me know in the comments section be like call me out be like hey ducky remember when two months ago you said you do this hello time's a ticking where is the video i'll be like you know what i'm so sorry <laughs> let me try and get to it so um but anyway thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for uh liking if you like this video um Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. You know, I'm a ducky of the people, for the people, by the people. I try and do videos that um, all of you request. Um, I can't guarantee that I'll get to every single video or make, making every single video, but I will try. Um, but anyway, that's it for me. Remember to take care of yourselves mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and sexually. Love and respect yourselves and others. And as always, stay hydrated. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!